evening to one and all. Welcome to the um, Buddhist Maoya uh, Facebook public page. And today we have a very distinguished uh, speaker in uh, Professor Dr. Uh, Srinivasa from the uh, Bapu, uh, that is the Buddhist and Pali University of Sri Lanka, who has uh, kindly consented to uh, give a Dhamma talk this evening. Uh, let me bring on um, Dr. Srinivasa. Ah, good evening, Doctor. Uh, good evening to you all. So let me just quickly read the profile of uh, Dr. Srinivasa, Professor Srinivasa. Uh, he's got a very lengthy uh, uh, CV, and I don't think I'll be able to finish reading his whole CV. But let me read the main uh, key points that, uh, about Bante. Uh, Bante Lenagala Srinivasa was actually born in Sri Lanka and has a very wide academic uh, qualifications. Yeah? Um, he first graduated with a B of Honor <laughs> class from the University of Kalania and then got his master's MA from the University of Delhi, also in first, uh, first class honors. Then he completed a BHU, which is a, a PhD from the, I think it's in Benares, the Hindu University of Benares. Then after his PhD, uh, prior to that, he also had a PDE from the NIE, uh, I think it's in Sri Lanka, if I'm not mistaken. And um, Bante has since been actually the uh, working with the Buddhist and Pali University of Sri Lanka. He was the head of the Department of, uh, for Sanskrit from uh, 2016 to 2019, June 2019. And then from June 2019, uh, he got a promotion and he became the Dean of the Faculty of Language uh, Studies at the Bab, uh, Buddhist and Pali University of Sri Lanka. So without much ado, I would now like to invite uh, our Venerable Professor, Dr. Srinivasa, to uh, give his presentation uh, this evening. Bante, would you like to start? Okay. Namo tasa bhagutu arahatu samma sambuddhasa dhammam chare sucharitan nanang ducharitan chare dhamma chari sukhang seti asming loke param hicha. Dear Dhamma friends, today I would like to explain the power of spirituality. Uh, I have taken this topic hmm, uh, because uh, in these days all are having various kinds of uh, problems because of the COVID-19 disease. This time all are jailed in their homes. They are thinking we don't have to do anything. Uh, they are feeling alone. They are having a uh, fret and they are uh, trying to concentrate their mind on their future tasks. But they can't uh, make their mind as they wish. They have a fear. Uh, may we uh, get that virus? and may we die soon like that. Uh, they are having that kind of fear. Therefore, uh, stress and various kinds of uh, mental difficulties are there in uh, minds. Therefore, according to the Buddhism, we have to get some instructions. First of all, I would like to say you, this is a good chance to concentrate your mind. You have to improve, you have to develop your mind power. You were so busy in last uh, few years. Now you are not busy. You are very free in your day-to-day -day life. Buddha said, we have to develop our spiritual life for the benefit of uh, this life and hereafter lives, then we can uh, increase our uh, mind power and also we can develop our wisdom. 
once buddha said if we follow the buddhism if we follow the dhamma we are protected by ourselves that idea is given in the verse recited by me uh, in the beginning dhammo have rakkati dhamma chari buddha said uh, the person who are practicing dhamma will be protected by himself because of that dhamma therefore he as human beings we have to practice dhamma dhamma means good practices dhamman chare sucharitam nanang ducharitam chare we should not practice uh, wrong things or adhamma if we practice dhamma we can live in a peaceful and calm manner here and hereafter asmin loke param hita means here and hereafter especially i would like to mention here the dhamma and adhamma are don't have the same results they have different results nahi dhammo adhammo cha ubho sama vipakino as buddha explained uh, dharma has got good results and also adhamma has got bad results the people uh, as a wise person uh, they have to think about dhamma they have to neglect adhamma in this world we can see most people are practicing adhamma they are living in a wrong manner that is why in this world became very very uh, conflict one full of problems mostly people are trying to cheat in cheat others they try to cheat others and also they try to uh, use their power to oppress other people they make obstacles to the people some people try uh, to gain the property belongs to others buddha said uh the main reason is greed it means tanha uh in visuddhi magga there's a verse as you have heard and the buddha explain that verse in other place that verse is anto jata bahi jata jata ay jatito paja uh the people have got problems uh, in their minds in their life and also there are problems outside of their lives inner inner problems and outside problems it means in the society in the country in the world there are lots of problems always we are hearing those kinds of problems which are facing to facing uh, to human beings uh buddha uh, once uh, a god came to buddha and asked uh, a question venerable sir there are lots of problems in human beings and also there are lots of problems in this world anto jata bahi jata jata ay jatito phaja all the people are having lots of problems uh how can they uh, solve these problems tantang gotama puchchama ko imang vidyate jata i would like to ask from him who can solve these problems then buddha recited very important verse this verse was the basic concept basic uh, idea for the uh, visuddhi magga Uh, it was written by the buddha gosa commentator buddha gosa he wrote a book on this topic this verse buddha recited sile patittaya naro sapanyo chittam panyanch bhavayam atapi nipako bikku so imang vijate jatam one should uh, practice seal seal means moral codes that one can uh, 
uh, solve these problems after uh, practicing moral codes he can develop his mind chittam and also wisdom panya chittam panyancha bhavaye atapinipakobikku means uh, that disciple who is very clever uh, of doing this action and who can uh, clean his mind and who can uh, control his mind is the winner uh, he he can uh, solve these problems so imang vijate jata uh, here i would like to say you and uh, in brief the spirituality is expressed by the buddha uh, in this verse he emphasized we have to be have to practice spirituality how to do it first of all we have to uh, observe precepts we have to practice moral codes uh, then we can control our sensual uh, places sense organs normally we are having lots of problems because of sense organs when we see pictures when we taste food when we uh, smell various kinds of uh, fragrances and many things when we touch many things so uh, we are having problems if we lose them we suffer if we gain them we enjoy so every time every second we can't gain these things therefore we suffer uh, losing them time to time therefore uh, i would like to explain this spirituality is very important for us when we develop our spirituality we can control even the natural things even the nature the activities of nature and also we can control the diseases in these days all are thinking about the medicine of uh, covid 19 but all are having a problem they have they have a problem how to find a good treatment good medicine for this disease this virus in america in britain in italy in china in other countries the doctors and also scientists the specialists they are doing experiments to find the medicine sometimes they will not find there may be lots of deaths in future also according to the buddhism i would like to say you there is a good medicine what is that you have to develop your mind power using your mind power you can cure this disease yourself and also you can give blessings to other people to the world every day we have to give blessings to the people and also other beings in this world in this universe if you practice meditation you can develop this mind power if you practice the moral codes you can develop this spiritual power uh, according to the experiences i would like to say you if we develop our mind we can pass energy to other people to cure their diseases when we pass our energy using our mind waves and also using our power of body with through our fingers or through our eyesight or through our brain waves mind waves we can pass our energy to others uh, the monks are always doing this action when they chant paritta suttas uh, blessing suttas 
they concentrate their mind and they use their verbal power and they use their mind power they chant in a peaceful manner and in a calm way then they can pass their energy to other people they will recover sure it's sure 100% sure they can recover you know in uh, last month uh, sri lankan monks chanted ratana sutta in every temple they started to chant ratana sutta so now we can see the result no more deaths but the disease is still spreading we have to chant more then we can stop this spreading of the disease also we have got lots of experiences of uh, this spiritual power you also can develop it uh, last week i heard uh, from the news who uh, gave some uh, commands to the world a uh, few points they gave to the world for the protection of this uh, very dangerous and this uh, severe disease you have to follow these uh, points in those points i think uh, they have given five points among those five points one point was uh, develop compassion develop compassion and also practice uh, meditation these two uh, points gave by the who see they also have understood the benefit of spirituality and the mind power when you practice meditation when you observe precepts when you follow the moral codes you are purified by yourself and your mind and your body both physically and mentally you you are purified your diseases will be removed from your body sometimes they are may be diabetic sometimes there may be pressure or cholesterol such kind of uh, such kinds of diseases uh, in your body these diseases can be controlled sometimes can be removed permanently from your body practice in meditation practice in moral codes especially you have to think about your mind mostly people are not considering about their mind normally they are cleaning their body daily uh, brushing their teeth and washing their body and applying various kinds of uh, perfumes and uh, various kinds of things they uh, make this body fresh but they don't make their mind fresh they don't do anything uh, to clean their mind buddha uh, has explained this mind also must be cleaned if your mind is purified you will see lots of miracle experiences you can uh, experience lots of advantages benefits after developing your mind therefore i suggest to all the people in this world now it is time to how to understand the power of spirituality buddha used his mind power to control the the environment also uh, when there was uh, an epidemic in visala city in india vaisali there was a such kind of very dangerous uh, disease and also various kinds of problems in that city earlier it was similar to the uh, divine world but 
after few years it became a hell there uh, was lots of difficulties and there are spread uh, diseases and uh, various kinds of uh, bad influences and also there was not raining especially there was not raining buddha was invited by the people in that city and buddha reached to vaisali and uh, he um, thought when he enters to the city there must uh, be raining then buddha entered to the city at once the rain was started it was heavily raining and the rivers uh, streams ponds everything was full of water see the power of buddha uh, using his ritual power he did it not that one there are many many occasions he uh, defeated lots of people using his mind power you know in uh, nalagiri uh, story buddha uh, controlled that uh, dangerous uh, animal nalagiri means an elephant uh, he came to kill the buddha at that time buddha made his mind and used his mind power thought i i i release my energy i use my mind power uh, i use compassion uh, to defeat this uh, brutal one this elephant then nalagiri was uh, defeated defeated by the buddha no uh, any harmful activities done by nalagiri that elephant you also can use the, this mind power there are lots of enemies uh, connected to your life from the beginning of your life there are various kinds of enemies so use your mind power you uh, pass your energy to them you use your compassion to them Uh, using you your mind waves brain waves you can control them be peaceful be calm then they will stop their uh, activities which are doing against you you can control them if there is not raining you can use your mind power oh we need rain now drought is everywhere no water to drink the plants and the animal uh, beings and the human beings all are suffering because of the lack of water then you can use your mind power you concentrate your mind and wish and think there is a big problem in this area there must be raining the rain is a necessary thing and think thoroughly many times few times you have to think and uh, when you think you remember the buddha dhamma and sangha you remember the power of your spirituality you remember the very sacred places in this world in this universe you take the power a uh, universal power to your hand with that power you can uh, do a very very beneficial action after few hours or few days the rain will be there this is very good experience uh, taken by me and also you can cure the patients using your mind power you can touch the head of patient and pass your energy to them uh, you think with the power of my mind with the power of triple gems with the power of sacred places in this world this patient must be cured very fast 
think few times think many times take few minutes give the blessing powerfully then he will recover soon buddha said there are two kinds of diseases physical diseases and mental diseases one can protect from physical diseases one year two year three year like that in roga sutta buddha explained uh, up to 100 years yes one can protect uh, by himself from the physical diseases but it is difficult to protect yourself even one second from the mental diseases muhuttampi Uh, Buddha said, uh, "Even one moment, one second, arogyang na patija nanti. Until we attain arahanthut, until we attain Buddhahood or uh, second Buddhahood, we are having mental diseases. You and me, we are having mental diseases. In every second, in every moment." we are having but we don't know we are having that kind of mental diseases buddha has found three kinds of basic mental diseases they are raga dosha moha lust anger and illusion ignorance so these are the basic mental diseases and there are more more than 1500 mental diseases they are named as kilesa or cravings in many suttas it is explained so we have to consider uh, to control to remove these kinds of mental diseases as you uh, clean your body you have to clean your mind uh, i explained it in in the beginning how to do it observe precepts and also uh, practice moral codes uh, meditation is very important here and listen to dhamma talks and read uh, dhamma books and uh, follow various kinds of religious activities chanting offerings and helping to others when you do these things uh, with full of compassion uh, you can remove all those uh, cravings and mental diseases from your mind then you can see a purified mind purified mind that one is very useful uh, using your purified mind you can give blessings to yourself and also you can give blessings to other persons buddha paid his compassion to all the beings not only human beings he gave his compassion to all the be- uh, all the beings in this universe not in this world sabb bhutesu hitanukampi you also have to think in this manner you know in these days most of animals are in safe uh, they are well protected because people uh, are not killing them much most people are vegetarian in these days they don't go out they don't kill animals they don't eat meat very nice no so uh, most people are vegetarian in these days therefore they have uh, got a special compassion towards the beings they don't think to eat meat there's a news uh, which has uh, explained by many scientists uh, the cause of this covid 19 is eating meat in china uh, it was started because of eating meat they have got this virus if it is so we have to uh, think more and more we have to protect them we have to save their lives we have to stop eating meat it is very useful 
for our life. And also, you have to be uh, full of compassion in this period. Some people are not having compassion. They are thinking, oh, these people must be uh, died, must be died because of this uh, uh, virus. Uh, Christian people think Muslim people must uh, vanish from this world because of this COVID. And Buddhist people sometimes will think. Actual Buddhist people don't think like that. Uh, they must be protected, but uh, other uh, enemies must be uh, died because of this disease. Do you think this idea is good? This is not good idea. There was a religious leader in Iran. Uh, last month, uh, he expressed one idea. This virus is produced by the God Allah. And this virus is brother of Allah. Uh, Allah, or oh, that powerful God, uh, produced this virus uh, to kill other enemies. Uh, he uh, produced this virus to make this world as an Islamic world. What happened? After a few days, he also was infected by that virus. See, the brother of Allah killed him. This is actually not logical idea. He passed away. He passed away. We should not think like that. We have to think all the beings in this world must be protected from this virus, from this dangerous virus. Produce compassion. And uh, you have to live full of compassion. Then you can develop your spirituality. You can use that power to cure this world. Every day, every moment, while you are staying in your homes, in any place, you must be there full of com compassion. You have to develop your spiritual power. Use your brain waves as a healing power. You know, there are five kinds of brain waves as scientists found, experimented. Alpha, beta, theta, gamma, delta. These are the brain waves. If you develop your spiritual power, you can control these brain waves in a good manner. Normally, I say it as a management of brain waves. You have to manage your brain waves. Then you can produce this power of spirituality. If it is high, if those brain waves are working in a higher level, it is a cause for the mental disease and also physical disease. If these brain waves are working in a lower level, that one also a cause for the mental and physical diseases. So what to do? We have to centralize them. We have to control them. Then uh, those brain waves will work in a medium way. At that time, your mind will become very peaceful one and very calm one. Then you can produce your mental energy in a higher level. Especially, I would like to explain here, whatever you deliver to the uh, deliver to outer world, uh, you will take the same thing after a few minutes, few seconds, few days, few weeks, few years to uh, by yourself. Whatever we offer to the environment, uh, whatever we offer to the people, what we, whatever you offer to the beings, all the beings in this world, we are getting results in the same way. If you offer to the human beings and other beings compassion, 
you also will receive compassion from them. You know, there are lots of monks in uh, forest monasteries. There are lots of very dangerous animals, various kinds of uh, beings in the forest. They will never disturb to those monks. Why? They live there full of compassion. They always practice the meditation of loving kindness. And also they uh, release their, their mental energy. They release their mental energy uh, to other beings. Then uh, they are well protected. This is very good example. You know, some people are always having jealous towards others. And some people are uh, having uh, enmity towards uh, other people. What will happen? They are having various kinds of problems in their day-to-day -day life. Buddha said, Nahi vere na verani sammanti dha kudachana ave renacha sammanti esa dhammo sanantano the anger will not uh, cure yourself. If you develop anger more and more, again and again, what will happen to you? The anger will come to you. Other people will work against you. They, use, they will use various kinds of revenge. They will... Uh, kill you, they will attack you, they will blame you, they will criticize you. Therefore, according to the uh, teaching of the Buddha, we should not practice those kinds of bad uh, behaviors, bad things. Control your mind, control your words, control your body. Uh, these three kinds of uh, equipments are always producing various kinds of uh, bad things. If you can control mind, words and body, you can be a very spiritual one. You can develop the power of spirituality. Clean your mind. How to clean? As you heard in this discussion, there are four kinds of sublime status named as metta, karuna, mudita, upekha. Metta means loving kindness. Karuna means compassion. Mudita means pleasure uh, in the uh, progress moments of other people, in the uh, success of other people. Upekha means equanimity. Uh, the third one, mudita, must be understood very clearly. Normally, people don't like to see the richness of other people. If someone moves by a very, very expensive vehicle, they are having jealous. They think, oh, I don't have that kind of vehicle, but he is moving in that kind of very exp expensive vehicle. How he has earned money? I think he is doing uh, wrong businesses. He is selling drugs or selling alcohol or selling weapons and he is doing wrong businesses. That is why he can earn that much money. Therefore, he is uh, moving that kind of expensive, uh, by that kind of expensive vehicles. These thoughts are no good. If you see that kind of person, you have to be in a pleasurable position. It is called mudita. Mothers and fathers, they are enjoying seeing the uh, skillful activities of their children. If they are having very 
good uh, uh, qualities and if they have got a good job or they, if they have built a very very uh, good house and if they have bought various kinds of uh, important uh, properties then uh, parents are enjoying in the same manner you also must enjoy uh, towards other people when they are in a success position when they are getting richness and they when they are developing their higher spiritual qualities you have to be uh, in a pleasurable mood mostly in this world we don't see that kind of position what happened to you if you are developing that kind of uh, thoughts your mind become impure you can't uh, clean your mind with those thoughts uh, you have to remove those kinds of thoughts then you can purify your mind there's a universal law if you practice wrong things the nature will be punished the nature will punish you uh, mostly the good people are criticized by others bad people and the good people are punished by other bad people those good people are not uh, working against to them but what will happen to the persons who are doing those wrong things they will be punished by the nature this nature is very powerful now see how much powerful this nature if the people are working against to the environment or against to the world or against to the nature the nature will punish them now it is happening people didn't care about the environment they didn't care about the universal law they didn't care about the natural things they destroyed many things they were destroying many things therefore the nature wanted to punish to the human beings see this is the power of nature we have to love this environment we have to love uh, to the sun moon stars and rivers uh, streams forest earth and towards everything in this universe universe we have to uh, share our loving kindness towards all these things nowadays people are thinking everything is locked locked down now we now we are jailed in our homes we have to make our mind such kind of positions how to make not everything is not locked down sun is rising uh, the rivers are flowing the streams are flowing natural things are acting well raining in proper time now people can think these natural things are working well we can control our mind and we have to uh work for the development of our nature our mind and our spirituality in these days our people are cultivating they are uh doing well and also students are learning while staying in their homes though the schools are closed though the universities are closed they are learning in peaceful manner earlier they were running they were rushing here and there 
going to the classes and uh, they didn't have enough time to play they didn't have enough time to watch television they didn't have enough time to listen to the songs see nowadays they are living peacefully they are enjoying i would like to say all the human beings you have to think everything is not stopped in past 1000 years ago people didn't have these kinds of various uh, material things goods uh, they lived in caves they lived in forest they lived in rural areas rural villages they farmed well they earned uh, grains they produced grains they uh, produced their food well they uh, enjoyed with those food and they practiced various kinds of religious activities after the uh, scientific investigations and various kinds of uh, commercial development people were jailed in their uh, material world they were jailed in their uh, technological and electronical equipments they didn't have enough time to think they didn't have enough time to play they didn't have enough time to practice their religion now you have got all these things go fast you have to think about past and in this bad situation you have to concentrate your mind you have to uh, think about your religious teachings and you have to think about the spiritual power if you develop your spiritual power you can live happily in this world and also in next births if you develop your mind if you develop your wisdom you will reach to the final goal very soon people think after the death we will lose our mind power we will lose our spiritual power therefore no use of developing wisdom no use of developing our mental our mind power it is only enough living with pleasurable things and enjoying with sensual pleasures i would like to say to you don't worry about this if you die your mind power your spiritual power the uh wisdom power will move to the next birth with you your body is here live in your body your mind power moves to next birth you start where you have stopped in next birth therefore as much as possible you have to develop your mind power you have to develop your wisdom you have to develop your spiritual power i would like to wind up this dhamma talk saying this dhammam chare sucharitam you have to practice dhamma if you practice adhamma it means bad things it is very harmful to yourself and to the world to the universe in dananjani sutta buddha explain adhamma charya visama charya hetuko gama va agama hanti nagara va anagara hanti if the people are practicing wrong things if they are behaving in a, a bad manner the villages will not be villages the cities will not be cities 
they will vanish fast they will vanish soon in these days the people must be well controlled when uh, the curfew uh, removed people are trying to uh, get various kinds of uh, liquors and they are in queues of the liquor bars in many countries they don't care about this uh, very dangerous uh, disease uh, they are the death in front of them but they are still thinking live in pleasure using those kinds of liquor or alcohol they don't want to give up they haven't understood their life they are still thinking about the pleasure which is uh, uh gaining from the sensual uh, organs sense organs i would like to say you please be uh, in safe control yourself and start a new life this is a very a changing moment for the all human beings you have to start a new life you have to think about birth cycle you have to think about your lifestyle you turn your mind to the spirituality say in this i will wind up my dhamma talk may you attain nibbana sukhi hoto bliss of triple gems thank you bante for a very enlightening uh, evening i think many of our, de- our devotees have benefited uh, by your very explicit uh, explanation of the power of spirituality but bante before we end there are two questions uh, which i will now post on the screen can you read the question bante on the uh, screen actually i can't read can you read it okay i'll read it for you okay. uh, this is from sister sally how can lay followers be as devoted and so knowledgeable as the mahasangha to reach even the stream entry level because there seems to be a lot to learn in buddhism uh, is there a simpler and easier way how do we know when we are there christianity seems uh, appears simpler i'm a lay buddhist thank you did you understand okay. the question okay. yeah yeah uh, i will answer to that question actually uh, buddha said at once we can't uh, reach to the final goal there's a uh, there are steps to reach to the final goal it is mentioned in many suttas anupubba sikha anupubba patipada uh, first of all we have to control our sense organs uh, it is uh, very important how to do it observe precepts and uh, we have to use good words we have to do uh, good things we have to think good things good thoughts good words and good uh, physical activities are the basic things to enter to the uh, spiritual level as a lay person they can do it when they uh, uh, when they live in their homes uh, they can live peacefully uh, when they use their words they should not use harmful words they have to use 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 good words full of compassion and also when they leave their homes they have to uh, do good things using their physical uh, components using their uh, body parts using their hands using their legs uh, they can do good things and also uh, they have to control their uh, thoughts they have to think uh, about uh, other people uh, with compassion so this is the uh, very simple way it is not difficult to 
uh, hello i would like to suggest to uh, her you start from this point after that you can go deeper and deeper uh, can practice meditation can uh, follow the uh, deep dhamma practices then you can uh, reach to the stream enter position uh, step by step it is not difficult it is very simple staying in homes you can practice it Sally's question. Now there's another question by Brother David. Uh, this question is what uh, I think we how do you overcome fear and anxiety right now in view of the coronavirus facing the world? Yes, uh, I will answer. Uh, we have to think we all are subjected to the death. Everybody will die. We don't know when we die. We don't know uh, how we die. We don't know the reason for the death. Uh, we have to prepare our mind for the death. How to prepare? Doing good things. And uh, practicing these kinds of spiritual uh, activities. We can uh, prepare our mind we have to be ready any time to the death. We have to expect the death. No need to have fear. Uh, as Buddhist uh, uh, people, disciples, uh, we offer our life to the Buddha, Dhamma and Sangha. When we start to meditate, we offer our life to the Buddha, Dhamma and Sangha for the Triple Gems. Then, while we are meditating, sometimes we hear various kinds of sounds, uh, very, very dangerous uh, sounds. At that time, we don't have fear. Why? We have offered our life to the Buddha, Dhamma and Sangha. Uh, if we die, oh, we, it is very sure we will get a good birth. We will not go to the hell or in bad positions because we are practicing very good thing. Uh, in this manner, we have to remove fear or stress from our body, uh, ready to die. Uh, practice good things uh, and behave as a good human being, then you should not fear for the death. Okay, Vante, thank you. I was trying to see whether I can answer the question without coming on board. Okay, there's a last question, I think. Uh, sorry. Let me post it again. Uh, what is the reason, even after doing good things, uh, results come negative? What is the reason, even after doing good things, results become negative? Okay, I will answer. Uh, actually, there are previous karmic uh, forces. Um, even Buddha also uh, was uh, infected those kinds of bad uh, influences, negative things. Uh, he had a disease, uh, loose motion with blood, very dangerous disease. Uh, once Ananda, Venerable Anand asked, Venerable Sir, you have got a higher spiritual power, but you can't control your disease. You are having loose motion with blood. Why you can't control? Buddha said, this is a result of previous karma. I have done a wrong action in previous birth. As a result of uh, that previous come, I have this disease. So we also have that kind of previous bad kammas, influences of previous bad kammas. We are having various kinds of diseases, <coughs> various kinds of problems, though we are practicing good things. 
we are working as a good human beings but there are enemies there are various kinds of problems which are facing in day to day life uh, sometimes those enemies are coming from previous births they are still with us until uh, attained buddhahood until attain arahanthut until reach to final goal these karmic forces are influencing towards us thank you bante i hope that answers our brother's question i think we have one last question bante is from sister cindy uh it says i presume it's i am uh, ocd which is obsessive compulsive uh, disorder and anxiety disorder person i presume she has uh, this obsessive compulsive disorder and also the anxiety disorder uh, it's really hard for me to control is there a way for me to overcome this the medical okay. problem bante so it's a okay, okay. 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 i will answer uh, to her or to him uh, you can meditate in few uh, minutes uh, per day you can uh, think about your breathing system which is called anapana sati uh, you concentrate your mind you develop your mind power then you can use your electrical power which is produced by your mind or your brain throughout your body as you all know the asa electrical power in our body when we meditate it is increasing then uh, it has got the power rectify or correct those kinds of disorders uh, in the nervous system in the blood system in heart or in other places in your body there are some blocks some uh, disorders if we meditate if we increase our mind power the electrical power of body will be increased very soon you can use that power to recover your body your nervous system or your blood system i suggest her try to do it meditate few minutes uh, per day then uh, use your mind power and send your thoughts to those places in your body which uh, having disorders then you can cure uh, that disease uh, i suggest to that one to practice it thank you bante so i think sister cindy uh, bante has uh, explained to you how you can try to overcome your medical condition um so sister cindy uh, hope you take it and uh, try to practice my, uh, what bante said anapana sati uh, meditation so i think we've come to the end it's almost more than an hour that bante has been speaking and we have okay. to take this opportunity to thank bante for taking the time uh, we didn't expect you know to go so long and we had a lot of problems this evening to get connected uh, uh, for this this broadcast but we have to thank the devas for allowing us to Uh, proceed so long it's more than one hour i think seven minutes now and uh, one thing we would, would you like to before we end transfer yeah. the merits to all the devas yeah. and also to all the departed beings yeah yeah i will transfer merits to all the devas god uh, and they will uh, attain a uh, good position so uh, in future the cycle also and, uh, may they attain uh, nibbana and also the relatives who have passed away uh, belong to your uh, family life and i thank all those people for uh, the merits and they may be healthy and they may take a good breath uh, but in future also and they will uh, reach the final goal very soon and also i would like to wish to all the listeners uh, may you be very healthy and also well be may you reach the final goal as soon as possible may you attain nibbana to be here